The World Food Organization says that about one third of the produced food is thrown away. This is a major concern for both the economy and the environment. There have been numerous academic studies looking into the problem. Uh, you can find links and information about the scientific sources I used in the description of the video. As any complex phenomena, there isn't a single solution to this one. Still, one major factor that accounts to up to 20% of the food waste is the need to improve purchase and consumption planning in the developed, developed countries. That would include the European Union. To find reasons for the current poor state of planning among consumers, I decided to look through several articles of behavioral economics, that is the mixture between psychology and economics. With some of degree of differences, the scientific literature agrees on several major factors that are at play. Insufficient external stimuli, uh, like uh, community approval, uh, high consumption expectations, uh, lack of commitment for uh, preparation and shopping practices of overstocking. Since I am currently involved in the development of a cooking site project, some of the above rank home. Uh, I got thinking what could be done differently to push consumers to reduce food waste. I am a great proponent of the choice architecture concept, which is to say that given the right conditions, people could be nudged to change some elements of their behavior, uh, in this case improve the purchasing and consumption planning. And then it hit me. Uh, the uh, standard food uh, preservation logic was wrong. The conventional reasoning to buy for the week was not right, uh, since one uh, rarely knows what precisely he or she wants to eat, he has cooked during the week. Uh, this leads to overstocking and inevitable food waste. If the purchase logic is the reverse, by small amounts but frequently, the chance for waste is minimized. A quick glance at the development of food marketing in Europe shows that consumers increasingly prefer to buy local, organic and more frequently from small specialized shops. Thus, to nudge the shoppers to purchase and cook more often and create the right architecture for choice will not be so difficult. What every academic article out there agrees on, it is very important for the consumer behavior to have external motivation. Or, to put it in simpler terms, uh, they need somebody to kick them around every now and again. An Internet of Things provides plenty of such opportunities. This is why my proposed app is gently pushing the user through generating shopping lists based on pre-selected recipe, allowing every time the user is near a shop where he or she might uh, buy some of the items on the list. and push them additionally through video guide for the recipe that can be played on every smart device in to the home of the user. I am convinced that when people are given the option to make the right choice, they will, especially if it's a convenient one. For more information on my app, please see the link below.